Okay, now we're going to do some practice, okay? So, if you have... Okay, I'm going to post this link anyway to read Psalms, which is Tehillim, is by King David, okay? So we're going to read the first one. We're going to read the first two lines, maybe even less, okay? So we're going to practice. So, you have a syllable right here, those two dots on the bottom, means you have to stop, like a pause, and then say the next word. So this together is going to be Ash, then Re. So you put it together, it's going to be Ash, Re. And just keep practicing. It's Haish Asher Lo. And remember, here's the vowel. It's a, it's a dot on top of the L, so it's Lo, and Aleph is silent. And I have Halach. Remember, the two dots over here just means you stop on it strong. Then it's Ba'atzat. Rashaim. Then it's me. Uvdarech. Chataim. Lo. Amad. Uv. Mo. Shav. See that? Uv. I'm having trouble with the mouse. Alright. Mo. Shav. Leitzim Lo Yashav Okay, that's just the first line. Now remember, only read Tehillim uh, from only when the sun is out. Cast the rule Tehillim and Torah and Tanakh. You cannot read after the sun has set and before Jewish midnight, which is approximately 1 a.m. right now in the summertime, spring summertime. And that's the only rule regarding Tehillim. Also, make sure you don't say God's name unless you're actually praying, which is right here. It's a yud, then a hey, then a vav, then a hey. Make sure you just follow the step before what I what I spoke about, and that's it. But that's it. So just remember, just practice, you know, slowly, and you should get the hang of it. And yeah, I suggest reading Tehillim to really help you out practicing. And I'm gonna post the link so you can read it in Hebrew and English as well. And let's see what else is there. Sometimes they have uh, like a song so you can remember it easier. Just keep checking on Google, alright? So that's pretty much it. And I promise the next video then I'll show you for sure so like a code to look at nations.